There is a lot to be said for tradition in royal affairs. Oh yay! Oh yay! Oh yay! There's also a lot to be said for an old man in a funny hat stealing the spotlight from a newborn baby. I am Princess Long Lived, happy and glorious, and one day long to reign over us. God save the Queen! That was Tony Appleton giving his kind of unofficial announcement as a town crier. And by the way, he is a town crier, just not for London. That city hasn't had one since 2009. Appleton did the same thing when Prince George was born back in 2013. The position of town crier in England came about in medieval times, when many people weren't able to read or write. So the crier would be called upon to read new laws and other news. I wasn't invited, I gatecrashed it. I've, I always follow the royals, I'm a real royalist, you know. I decided that I wanted to be the first person in the world to announce the birth of that boy. But the funny thing is, no one asked Appleton to do that for George's birth. He just showed up in full regalia and read a decree that sounded like it came straight from olden days. He actually made his announcement before the official one, thanks to a tip he got from someone inside the hospital. And at that time, the media didn't know what to think of him. Victoria, do you have any idea what we're looking at? This London's official town crier was everything you could want other than intelligible. <laughs> I mean, really, folks, I gotta say, the only way he could have been better is if he were real. Many started referring to him as the official town crier for London, and his image became the face of George's birth announcement, which forced the media to do some backtracking when everyone figured out he wasn't legit. Ye olde Department of Corrections shall herewith be presented. <clears throat> I made a royal error on last night's show. But Appleton didn't like being referred to as a phony, so when Kate became pregnant with her second child, he told Us Weekly he reached out to the royal family for their approval. So as this time I was actually a messenger from the palace. He got a thumbs up from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, but Kensington Palace still made a birth announcement on Twitter before he had the chance to give his old-timey decree. For Newsy, I'm Kate Grumke.